Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat healthy, get rich, drink good beer. I've been very, very busy with my day job, so apologies. Not gonna be cooking uh, today. Because the stock market is performing so badly, I'm thinking actually just to combine one stock, maybe one uh, new token or cryptocurrency, and maybe try to explain the idea uh, rather than going into technical. Stock of the week is IQST. I know this sounds absolutely crazy because uh, it has gone so down. Basically, this is like Tika Tiwari introducing Ethereum in January. You know, uh, Tika Tiwari's pick of 2021, one of the cryptocurrencies he picked was Ethereum and everyone was like, duh. <laughs> so it's the same actually. The reason I, I am saying IQST is because uh, from its high of all, approximately $2, it is now crashed down to 0.58. So it's mostly because of the volume going down. It's mostly because Trading212 has restricted it. You can still buy it through IBKR and I'm going to leave a link in the description. I, I do think this is a good investment. But if I would have opportunity, if I would have had foresight, I am invested really heavily into IQST. Anyways, uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to sell. However, this is a fantastic opportunity for someone to get in now. Uh, it's a really small float. And then also they have no convertible debt left. They are hitting the target of 60 million revenues. They have so many subsidiaries. All of them are bringing income and they might acquire more. And they also have a pathway to be listed on NASDAQ. So if you have patience, I would say IQST might be the stock of 2021. The cryptocurrency I want to introduce today is VeChain. <laughs> so it's a blockchain uh, company. Most of the blockchain at the moment uh, is thought in terms of financial services. However, uh, there is applications of blockchain way, way beyond financial services. So people, when you mention blockchain, only think about cryptocurrency. However, blockchain can also revolutionize many, many other sectors, including my own uh, day job sector, which is medical research. Supply chain, just imagine that <laughs> Evergreen stuck in Suez Canal cost $60 billion worth of uh, losses of global economy. So you can just imagine that how important supply chain is. Let's say if you are drinking a glass of wine and uh, you really want to see whether it was produced in uh, Argentina or, or, or France or Italy, you, you, you can actually just scan a QR code. A fun fact actually, guys, 20% of all the wine sold in the world is counterfeit. If all the information is on the blockchain it is immutable the record can't be corrupted so i think this company is way way ahead in 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 that sector this company offers blockchain as a service boss <laughs> i don't know you have heard about software as a service i'm gonna say blockchain as a service you remember the horse meat scandal in the uk just imagine from the farmer right up to the consumer imagine a world where you can track everything let's say this uh, shirt i'm wearing i want to know uh, what what was its uh, history what was its journey everything can be done on the blockchain so this company vchain is, is is doing precisely that horse meat scandal counterfeit uh, theft can be a disaster for multinational corporations is also a PR disaster for many many corporations if you look through this uh, website we'll find that their customers are really the big companies BYD PwC BMW so on so forth what, what tells you that the tire in your Lamborghini <laughs> when Lampo uh, is not fake two tokens that are linked so one is the VET and the other one is the VTHO so VTHO is the token that you need to use on the VeChain to pay for the services. The token is only 0.22 at the moment, but it has uh, gained a lot of traction. If you look from year to date, guys, by the way, this was 0.02 in, uh, in January 2021. So you can already see it has uh, pumped up massively uh, correction and then it's on uh, on the way up. Uh, again now which one to buy do you want to buy the v chain or you want to buy the vtho now if you look at vtho again it's only 0 0.01 it will follow closely what uh, v chain does i still think v chain probably might be a better buy these videos are totally for entertainment purposes only none of the companies that i'm mentioning in this video have paid me to make this content the maximum supply of these tokens is 86 billion and the circulating supply is 64 billion the market cap is approximately 14 billion i do think uh, this has still so the total addressable market uh, the supply chain management market is 20 trillion that's with a t and they have already captured about let's say 14 billion i think they can still capture up to a trillion to two or three trillion uh, going forward so that was the new cryptocurrency i wanted to uh, talk to my subscribers today i have been heavily talking about uh, this token nft art finance uh, on my twitter i don't have time during the week to make these videos however i am thinking of taking some uh, sponsored content by the way i have refused a lot of sponsored content on my channel but i think just to pay 
some of the people involved i might start to do a sponsored uh, video those videos will happen uh, during the middle of the week so what is nft art finance i have made a video on non-fungible tokens a long long time ago uh, this is a platform that's gonna bring the artists the buyers and the sellers uh, to the same platform and they're also bringing music to the same uh, platform uh, for centuries uh, musicians uh, artists uh, they have been shafted <laughs> by the establishments so I, again i think uh, I, I really out of all the tokens that i hold i do believe that nft art finance has the biggest leg uh, long-term legs the ceo is absolutely amazing uh, he's not really worried about the price of the token which i'm okay with you know the social media strategy could be improved the main concerning thing for me in nft art finance are the whales so if you go to bsc scan you, this is probably the top is probably the burn uh, wallet says dead here and then you have the deployer which has 44 million but then there are millions and millions of uh, pounds worth of tokens, or sorry, dollars worth of tokens here. And this goes on and on uh, on, on this uh, BSE scan. So the, the whales don't care about the community. They only care about the money. The moment they're gonna see some price action, they're gonna keep dumping their tokens. It's gonna be a long road, but I, I believe in this project, so I'm gonna stay with them. Just looking at all time high versus what's now, it's still two to three X. So I, I do believe once the whales are done selling, we, we are in uh, for a juicy uh, return here. Uh, also guys, these are deflationary tokens. So when people say take 100% off, I don't think they understand the tokenomic. Let's say if you bought 100 pounds worth of safe moon, you don't get 100 pounds worth of safe moon, you get 90, 90 pounds, okay? Let's say it, it almost, let's say it's almost doubles. Let's say it becomes 200 pounds and you sell. You actually don't get 200 pounds. You only get 180 because 10% is the tax. For these deflationary tokens, I have a 10X uh, price target. Yeah, many of them are running free in my trust wallet. Uh, by the way, guys, if you want to buy this, the method is the same. You need a Binance account. I will leave a link in the description for the Binance account. Then you need to have a trust wallet. The same way I taught you SafeMoon, that's exactly the same way. That's all I have to say today uh, and I'll see you in the next video.